we're talking about the GAU-17, more commonly referred to as a minigun. For all intents and purposes, it is just an electric Gatling gun. Oh, that Amish machine gun from the Western movies? The one with the hand crank? As I like to call it, butter churning to body stacking technology. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you basically turn that hand crank clockwise and bullets fly out the end really fast. Clockwise is basically to the right, so needless to say, NASCAR drivers can't even shoot this thing, because they only turn left. See, McConaughey, on the other hand, might be the deadliest man on the planet behind this thing, because he only goes, all right, all right, all right. I'm not proud of that joke. Anyways, the Gatling gun was invented by this guy, Richard Jordan Gatling. Actually, primarily an agricultural inventor. He invented an automatic seed planting machine for wheat. He applied that same mechanical design to a gun, and that's how we got machine guns. I'm going to show you, this is where freedom seeds come from, people. Actually, where that saying comes from? And it is now. Anyways, the Gatling gun existed for like, I don't know, five fucking seconds before somebody was like, let's put an electric motor on it. Seriously, they tried to put an electric motor on it almost immediately. The scary part is, is even back then in the 1800s, it had a theoretical firing rate of like 3,000 rounds per minute. Electric motor and the mechanism worked fine. It was the actual feeding of the ammo into the gun that caused the most problems. That donut is the old magazine for it. They couldn't feed it fast enough, so they just ditched the electric motor and kept the hand crank. And General Electric revisited the idea and came up with what we know today as the minigun. Hey, that gun is capable of shooting between 2,000 to 6,000 rounds per minute, depending on what setting you want it on. I never shot one in person, but I like to imagine there's just a knob like the one off your oven that says dead and you can just turn it up higher. In my Swick video, we brought up how they have two GAU-17s on their boat. The whole video on Swick, you can go watch it later, but for right now, if you don't know what they are, just think of them as like freedom pirates. Anyways, on their boat, they have two GAU-17s, a 50 cal, and then either two 240s or two Mark 19s or one of each. Perfectly reasonable question was asked, why not just have all GAU-17s? I'm just gonna level with you, it's because they're a logistical fucking nightmare. See, most machine guns mechanisms are operated by either the recoil of the gun, gas pressure from firing the ammunition. If the minigun is operated by an electric motor, you need fucking electricity. Which isn't always super readily available in a war zone. That's problem number one. Problem number two is the sheer amount of ammunition required. For example, this thing shoots 7.62 NATO, which is approximately 25.4 grams per round. I'm allowed to acknowledge I understand how grams work because this is America and we exclusively use them for illegal drugs. My country's flag's on the moon, so I'm gonna go ahead and do some rounding, convert it over to pounds, and multiply it by 6,000 for 6,000 rounds per minute. A total of 330 pounds of ammunition in a single fornication proceeding. Fucking minute, sorry. I tell you, this thing can plant five and a half pounds of freedom seeds in a single second. I'm gonna tell you that if that man gets upset at you for literally any amount of time, your new job is gonna be working at a nativity scene. As the Holy Spirit. Very, very Holy Spirit. I don't know if you can make a spirit more aerodynamic, but if anybody can, it's gonna be that guy. In conclusion, due to the sheer logistics of this weapon, we typically only see it in special operations groups whose job is to get in, gain fire superiority, get their guys, and get out as fast as possible. And it's like the Army's 160th, the Navy's Swick. If you're watching new shirt designs, as well as patches, all my other links are available at thefatelectrician.com. Until next time, Quack Bang out.